assalamu alaikum everyone i hope you all are fine so students our today's lecture is about the poem trespass in this poem the old man trespasses someone's land he has fear of being caught but he continues his walk because the path is very beautiful and close to the nature but as he reaches the road he is caught and now he wishes to own this land and in the final lines he is thinking to never use someone's land without having permission so as you all know about the story of this poem now move towards the exercise question number 5 look at the words given in the box on the next page discuss them and look up any that you do not know the meaning of then place them on a scale then goes down from the strongest emotion at the top if you have words that you think you are on the similar level put them next to each other so students there is a box and there are few words in this box and we have to put these words according to the face expression of the given pictures so first one looks like terror panic worry dread concern anxiety and so on moving towards part b working with words so there is a word prefixes In English we use the prefixes this none in and un to form the negatives of the certain words the prefixes all mean not with practice and wide reading you will be able to tell which prefix goes with a particular word so prefixes are the words which can be added before the root word before the main word to make the word negative So here is the exercise question number 1 see if you can write the negative forms of the following so here is the word not happy which will become unhappy after adding the prefix un before the word happy so see in the exercise there is a word not able which will become unable by putting un before the word able not avoidable unavoidable not respectful disrespectful not visible invisible not violent non violent not united disunited and so on you can do this by your own moving towards question number 2 how many words can you find of the same type as described above the words should all be negatives you may use your dictionary who can find the most words you can do this by your own you can also find uh, many words by uh, in the dictionary by using dictionary by your own Question number three: Make a large chart of your classroom wall. Make boxes on the chart with the head headings this, none, in, and un. Add words to the boxes when you can write off any new ones. So here is a prefix this, d i s, uh, and we can make the word dislike, disallow, distasteful. Then the, there is a prefix none. We can make non-religious, nonsense, non. a uh, vegetarian then there is a prefix un 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 um, we can make the word unexpected unconscious ungrateful and so on you can also make uh, your words by using these prefixes you can also find out these words in dictionary too then there is part c learning about language um, adjectives today's topic in the part learning about languages adjectives as you all know that an adjective is a word which describes a noun example a big bird a colorful dress an amazing trick a ferocious lion so students as you see in the examples there is a word noun bird and the big is describing this word bird a big bird so adjectives can be used in several ways the adjective can be put in front of the noun for example the metal bridge the expensive watch a warm day just like that we have put in the examples a big bird the next uh, point is the adjective can be put in the predicate of the sentence for example the this watch is expensive expensive is an adjective her dress look dirty dirt is also an adjective There are six main kinds of adjectives, and in the box we can uh, read out and we can uh, learn about the six kinds of adjectives of quality. For example, a big bed, a large house, an amazing trick, a dull play. 
these shows the quality of a noun then there comes distributive this that these those these point out or distinguish nouns then there comes demonstrative each every either neither these uh, points on that object named are to be taken separately quantitative some any few none ten these show a number interrogative what which whose these ask questions possessive my our his her their these show possession so these are some kinds of adjectives here comes the activity about these adjectives question number one see if you can pick out and name all the adjectives in the following sentences the dangerous animal roamed about in the thick forest so dangerous is the adjective of quality because it is describing the noun animal and thick forest thick is also the adjective of quality then there is a sentence she brushed her hair with the yellow and red brush her is the possessive adjective yellow and red adjective of quality so these are the other sentences and i have pointed out all these adjectives here with their uh, kinds you can do this by your own here is the part d listening and speaking question number 1 listen and say the words aloud the words with o have the same sounds as those with o told post gold host scold fold shoulder tall mold boulder soul mold dough so all these words with the word o or with the word o you have the same sounds uh, the similar sounds so here is question number 2 which of the following words do not fit into the list above so here is a box and there are few words given to us and we have to find out which are the words which are not fitting with the other words which are not uh, similar to the other words sound first one is could sold most should called born plow month poultry doubt body bold so there are two words could and should which are not fitting in the list which are not uh, similar to the sound of the other words here So here is question number three. Listen to the words. Write them down when you have finished and the words have been checked. Read your list aloud. So you can do this by your own. You can read these words aloud by your own. Moving towards part E, composition. Read the poem again. Then imagine that you are the narrator of the poem. You enjoy walking in the countryside, through the fields and woods, on the little paths. but a new law says that you must only walk on the roads write a short piece in the first person using the poem as inspiration in which you describe going on a walk plan your piece or of writing first by using the guide because below as a framework of your notes in the first paragraph explain your feelings about walking in the countryside in your second paragraph explain the new law and describe how you feel about it in your third paragraph describe the walk you went to on today and how you felt remember to show your appreciation for the countryside and your fear of being caught trespassing in your final paragraph say whether or not the new law and today's walk will stop you from going off the main road again so you can do this activity by your own you can make your own poem you can write your own poem by using these instructions below and uh, you can also share your opinion your point of view and your feelings in this poem also so students this is your lecture for today i hope you have learned a lot uh, about this poem and the exercise of this poem see you in another lecture till then take care and allah hafiz